What's up guys, today I'm going to teach you how to play bar chords. Now bar chords are really useful for two main reasons. Number one, it lets us get away from those standard open chords. Nothing wrong with those, but sometimes you want something that sounds a little bit different, a little bit fuller. Now the main reason why these are so great is because with just four shapes, you can play almost any chord progression anywhere on the fretboard. So to start off with, we're going to go through the technique a little bit. So the first thing we want to focus on is our thumb position. So we're playing open chords, a lot of people have their thumb wrapped right around the neck. And it's perfectly fine for open chords. If you try to do that with a bar chord though, you're going to find yourself a bit cramped. It's going to be really tricky to actually have that whole bar ring out. So we're going to position our thumb a little bit lower, okay? So about halfway up the neck. You'll notice that'll give you a lot more room to actually stretch and reach that whole fretboard. Now the second thing we want to focus on is how we actually play the bar with our finger. So if you feel along your finger, along the middle there, it's a little bit soft. So if you try to use that part of your finger, you have to push a lot harder to actually let those notes sound out. Now if we feel down the side of our finger here, you'll notice it's a lot bonier, okay, a lot harder. So we're going to try to use that part of the finger to get that bar. You'll notice you don't have to push down nearly as hard, and it's actually a much more comfortable position for your wrist, which is always a good thing to prevent injury and just general soreness as well. Once we have that bar ringing out nicely, we can then add the rest of our fingers to construct each chord shape. So the first chord shape we're going to do is a sixth string major shape. So we're going to bar the fifth fret for this example. We're going to add our third finger to the fifth string on the seventh fret. Our fourth finger just below that on the fourth string, also in the seventh fret. And then our second finger on the third string on the sixth fret. Just like that. Now our sixth string minor shape is the second one we're going to do. And all we're going to do is take that shape and take away our second finger there. So super easy. But how do we know where on the fretboard to actually play these chords? Each chord has what we call a bass note, which is the lowest note in the chord, and also what the rest of the chord is based off. So if you look up here, I've got all of the notes up to the 12th fret on the 6th string. So these are going to serve as our bass notes. So let's say I want to play a G major chord. Well, if you look up here, we can see the G is on the 3rd fret. So that means I'm just going to play that 6th string major shape at the 3rd fret. Let's say I want to play B minor. We can see that the B is up here at the 7th fret. So I'm going to play that minor shape at the 7th fret. Now the 5th string chords work exactly the same way. I'm going to go through them now. So to start off with, we're going to do our 5th string major chord. So we're going to be working from the 5th fret again, and we're going to bar all the way up to the 5th string. So we don't really want to touch that 6th string at all. There are two ways to play this chord. The first way is to get that bar in, then with our third finger we're actually going to bar the 4th, 3rd and 2nd strings two frets up, so in this case on the 7th fret. Now you also want to bend that finger backwards a little bit so it's lifting off enough that it's not touching the 1st string at all. Now obviously for a lot of people, positioning your third finger like that is really tricky, which is why there's a second way we can do this. So we're going to get that bar in again, and then rather than barring those three strings, we're actually going to play the fourth string with our second finger, the third string with our third finger, and then the second string with our fourth finger. Now if you can, I would suggest trying to play the first one, because it's going to be a lot quicker to change to and a lot easier to get into position because obviously we're only using two fingers rather than four. So our fifth string minor shape, we're going to get that bar in again. Then we're going to pop our third finger up on the fourth string, two frets up, so the seventh fret. Our fourth finger just below that on the third string. And then our second finger just below that again on the second string, but in the sixth fret. So you'll notice it's actually exactly the same position as a 6th string major shape, but everything has moved down a string. So like with the 6th string chords, we know where to put these shapes based on the bass notes, but this time our bass notes are going to be based on the 5th string. So if I wanted to play a C minor chord, for example, I look up here, I can see that a C 
is at the third fret on the fifth string. So I'm going to play my fifth string minor chord at that third fret. If I wanted to play a D major, I can see that the D is at the fifth fret on the fifth string. So I'm going to play that fifth string major shape at the fifth fret. Now these chords are really tricky for everyone straight away, especially getting that bar down. So make sure you practice, make sure your thumb is in the right spot, make sure you're using the side of your finger there, and I'm sure you'll do great. Thanks guys, I'm Sam, I'll see you next time.